test your point and shoot to see if it's going to work behind the eyepiece on a scope, just turn the camera on. Make sure you're all the way at the wide angle setting. And then just take two fingers on either side of the uh, lens barrel and guide it down behind the scope. You'll see back here, if you can back here, Paul, you'll see a circle of light. You want to center that in the LCD and then slowly move forward until you get a nice hard round edge. Now what should happen, I'm going to take my this finger and zoom the lens up just a little bit and as I zoom you'll get rid of the vignetting like this. If your camera will do that, if you have a nice hard round circle at widest angle and then you can zoom out the edges to get an unvignetted image then your camera works well for digiscoping. Now the zoom on this camera is too long for ideal digiscoping. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. What's the zoom on this one, Steve? This is a 1 to 10. So a 10x optical? 10x optical. So I'm going to guide it in the same way. And you'll see that I get the nice hard round circle. But then, as I zoom it up, I have to zoom it way out to get rid of the vignetting. And even then, that's just way too much power. You would never get a still nice shot. And you never really do get rid of the vignetting. Okay, so if you want to find out if your DSLR or mirrorless camera is going to work with your scope, here's a couple of steps that you can take. Uh, first of all, I've got my scope as wide as it'll go. So this, this eyepiece is at 25 power. And I'm also, just looking through the scope, I've got it basically focused on a spot over there. Okay, so it's in focus. I'm going to collapse the, the eyepiece here. I'm going to turn that in. Now, I'm using the Lumix um, GH4 with the 20 millimeter 1.7 lens. And I know on this lens, I'm going to have it all the way focused to the macro setting. All right, I've got the camera in manual focus, and I've, as I turn the ring here, I'm going to turn that so that it's all the way to its, to its closest focus setting, okay? Now, I'm going to hold the camera up to the lens, and I can see through as I go, as it goes in, and what you want is to be able to set it on the eyepiece and not see any vignetting around the edges, okay? If this wasn't going to work, you would have black vignettes here at the corners. Yeah, it would look like like this kind of a thing some some version of that and you want to make sure that it's centered and you can see here that I've got a clear unobstructed view uh, with this lens and uh, and it works great so this camera is going to work fine with the digit after